naging malina ogunta for the month of January and now we are spending our life in in the first Sunday of February. Inem ko tapat February na ta. Nakuwaan na isa kabula na nga tong tuig 2022. Amen. Palakpakan na to si Lord, no? Salamat sa mga kadaugan na itong nakatunan, nabagunan for the past January. But still a, a good year for us, a new year for us. Amen po ba? Amen. Uh, pasalamatan na ito ang gino. Palakpakan na to si Lord for, for this morning kay another extra special na Sunday. It's because mamaya po mag... Um, Uh, lahat ng mga encounter delegates na sila ay uh, presentation at the same time makadumog po ta sila mga testimony no kung iunsa sila ni Lord for change during the three days uh, retreat kasi may malipay anak amen and ingon gani nila pag February the world is celebrating love love inang tapad love yan God's love sa ato ang mga Kristohano no Okay, we are celebrating every day the goodness, the love of God in our lives. So this morning, ginato lang ayon, no? Just uh, open your Bible in Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seventeen. Dili ko mo proceed sa ato ang bago ng series karon in a way to uh, to celebrate sa ato ang bago ng hitabo ng encounter. But today, this is the uh, uh, this morning I'm gonna talk about, and this is my title of my sermon: New Life in Christ. Ina dey magtapa new life in Christ. Ayan. Come on, Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen. Kabalo kay taani. Let us all recite. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The the old things pass away. Behold, new things have come. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. Bless us, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us all sit. Of course, nakuha na isa kabula ng ato ang 2-8-2022. Sama sa ato ang uh, previous na series, Seek First. No? But again, still, bago magyakon na 2-8 para na ito. Amen ba? New beginning. There's always uh, things nga pwede na ito i-look back no? at the old year para ma-evaluate na ito sa ato ang kinabuhi ng atong success. But the same time, tanan na itong mga failures. Kinsa man sa inyo, Adelia, na every month na nagapatak or nagalabay, uh, naadyo kayo mga evaluation sa inyo mga kaugalingon. Raise your hands. Ay mga evaluation about success or even sa itong mga failures. No? We want to see every month po sa itong kinabuhi that we can learn also from the past no and to make our lives better for another month or another year na po nga iatag sa Ginoo sa ato ah amen another month to break every bad habits no another another month to adopt new and better habits amen po ba no this is not just a kind of resolution sa ato mga igsuon but it's all about becoming a new person Say with me, new person. No? New person. Mga ginatong gusto eh. As a Christoano, no? We will not be the same again, no? Pinaginita mo, mo stay lang sa kung kinsa ta itong iagi, no? Kung kinsa ta itong past na to. We are not defined by our past, but we are defined by the Lord. Amen? Through His grace, no? We, we want a new life in Christ, a new person in Christ. This morning, we are not going to consider, ito na mga step by step lang ba nga, inani lang sa karon, no? Kaya lang sa akong ibutang, sa kuang, sa kuang kinabuhi, especially sa itong spiritual walk in the Lord. No, but no, this morning, we will deal what the Bible says about complete new life, complete transformation about life. How many of you are ready? Sama sa itong gingon sa verse ganina, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the old has gone and the new has come. Come on, encourage the person next to you. The old has gone and the new has come. Amen. Sa tanan may nag-encounter, the old has gone and the new has come. Amen? Amen. God doesn't just kanang i-wipe off lang niya ang tanan na dirt sa ito ang kinaboy sa itong spiritual walk. No, sa ato ang heart but he wants us to put something no or to clothe as something no as a person no as a christian pay ning gitag bago gani dili nang maligo kaya balik ko na pud imong naghunon og suot no dili ka nga mao nga wala lang ka gi white wala lang gi white out ni lord ang atong sins ang atong transgression but aside from that and after that iya pud kang gisulban og bago nga kinabuhi. Bago nga kasing-kasing. Amen? Understand that Jesus 
in Him has completely changed nga atong makita sa atong kinabuhi. A brand new person. A brand new person and also karon nga gisuluban tag bago nga sanina sa ginoo, bago nga kinabuhi, bago nga kasing-kasing, we are now agent for this change of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is only through Jesus a deep, long-lasting, and authentic and dramatic transformation ang atong ma-receive. Diha lang yun sa ginoo. He is the only way, the truth, and the life. So this morning, we will see what God says about us of having this new image, new life, new identity in the Lord. Say with me, transformation. We want that. Kasi gusto transformation. Amen. Nagini ko, di mas siguro transform like literal na nabago atong dagway, nabusag ng imuang panagway. No, but a transformation from the inside. Mo na ginatawag sa Bible na regeneration. No? Regeneration. Pagbanhaw, pagusab. Dili na may tuwod ng namatay na tayo yun, nakasaloblangan yun, mata na po ka. No, regeneration, something from the spiritual, the rebirth, amen po ba? The transformation of regeneration, the old has gone and the new has come. Sabi pa nga sa nabasa ko na quotes, if we don't know who we are, we'll never know how we ought to live. Right. Amen. You understand that? No? Kung wala ka kaila kung kinsa gita, hindi po takabalo kung unsa na ito, saan na ito pag kinabuhi, ang atong kinabuhi. Tama? Hello? But this morning, it is also important for us to understand as a Christian, kita na mga Kristohanon, na hindi lang sa point, sa punto na nakabalot akong who we are, but we need also to understand what we are. Of course, bangun talo ng kasi mong katapat, kung samang ka, kung samang ka, may ngon juga, please tohanon ko, nangalagad ko, 4 years, 10 years from, 10 years ako nangalagad sa ginoo, 5 years ako nasa life church, or kung samang ka, I am a leader, I am a disciple maker, I am a disciple, it is who we are. This is our identity in the Lord. We are ambassador of Christ, we are sons and daughter of Christ, but aside from that, we need also to consider what we are. Kung saan ato ang ginabuha as a Christian. Not just who we are, but what we are as a Christian. Our text declares what every Christian is. Sabi sa verse natin, a new creature. A new creation. This is what we are. Kung, kung, kung makabalot akong kinsa ta, bagong binuhat, dapat po as a Christian, what we are is to do the good things and the new things. Amen. Amen. So impossible. We are new creation, but we are not walking as a new creation. Amen. It's so impossible that impossible that we are we are born again Christian, but we are still living on the past. Amen. We are not born again. We are not living in the new creation, in new way, in new living. Too many people, too many Christian, na nagaprofess sila, but still acting that way, that what they did before. Again, mas labis to kanon ko, but still their lives is not is not connecting sa ilang gina profess. They know who they are, but we don't know what we are as a Christian. So this morning we will know and we will understand what we are in the Lord. Inang kata pa what you are in the Lord, because oftentimes we forgot what we have as a Christian. What we have. Ano yung ginagawa natin? Ano yung living natin? Ano yung lifestyle natin as a new creation of Jesus Christ? God's promise is true. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. Church, whether you feel it or you you feel it not, what does it mean? You need to have a new creation in your hearts. Whether you feel it or not, sa uh, kailangan talaga may new creation na mangyayari hindi lang sa labas na aspeto pati mismo sa sunod na ito na aspeto Amen? Amen? Okay, what really happens to us as a Christian when we believe in Christ and now we commit to Christ? Here are the seven gifts that God gives us when we commit our lives to Jesus Christ as new as having a new life in Him Are you ready for this? Palakpak, if ready na tayo suon. Number one is this. As a new life, you have a new relationship. Amen. Say, we be relationship. Amen. What we are in the Lord, we have new relationship sa ginoo. Amen. Natay, bagong nga relasyon. Tung una, as a old, 
as uh, uh, tung una nga wala pa sa Ginoo natin mga communities or relationship together with but this time as a new life having new life in the Lord you have new relationships sa Ginoo kasi gusto ana the first thing that happens ang pinakauna nga nahitabo sa ato a sa dihang sugid ta ug surrender ta sa atong ginabuhi sa Ginoo God gives us new relationship. Why? Once we are separated from God because of our sin, tama? And not just separated mga igsuon because Ephesians chapter 2 verse 12, the Bible says there that we were excluded. Pag sinabi po natin excluded mga igsuon, it is isolate or detach. Wala nakakonek. Hello? We are not just separated by our sin, by the, our transgression, but we are excluded. Isolate, nalayo kita. No, we are detached, wala tayong connection. There's really gap no sa atong relationship sa Ginoo. That's why in Ephesians 2:12, ingon din niya NIV version, pero pwede po sa mong Bisaya version basaha. Remember that the time you were separated. Say with me, you were separated. We we are separated from Christ. Underline that word, excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners to the covenants of the promise. See that? See this? Without hope and without God in the world. Amen. What we have sa tong old life, without hope and without God in the world. Amen. See that kind of divine exchange mga gihatag sa ito ah. Wala tayo paglaong, kaya wala tayo ginoo. We are divided, we are excluded from our relationship with God in our citizenship. Wala gin tayo labot ba? Wala gin tayo karapatan. Amen? Wala gin tayo biskang, biskang ka ng right to stand in our position ba? To claim nga, ah, kuyo ka. Hello? Because in the first place, we are the people na walay pagtuo, walay paglaong, o walay ginoo. But thanks be to God. Let's give the head to Jesus. Thanks be to God. Because what happened when we commit our lives to Him, when we surrender our lives to Jesus Christ, God gave us a new relationship. He is now our loving Father. He is now our Heavenly Father. 24-7, you can reach out to Him. Hindi po siya unreachable. Hindi po siya out of reach. You can reach to Him. You are now dilit na mo divided, dilit na mo disconnected, but you are now connected. The same vine, the same love, the same blood of Jesus Christ. You are His daughter, His son, and He is your Father. You have new relationship with Him. And now as a child, we are spiritually reborn into His family. We are one in the band of God, in the band of His love. We have new relationship. Are we thankful for that? Isa pa, pasalamatun ba ta'ala? Amen. The second one is, as we have a new life in Christ, the old is gone and the new has come, this is who we are and what we have is this. We have a new citizenship. Amen. The second thing that God gives you when you commit your life to Christ is that you have a new citizenship. Of course, there is a kalibutan na atay citizen. We are citizen of this particular country or this Dria sa New Korea. Mga citizenship na. Tama ba? Nagasunod ta sa mga balaod. Amen. Nagasunod ta sa mga protocols. Nagasunod ta sa mga balaod. Nagikan kay mayor. No, kay we are citizen here in New Korea. In the Philippines. There is a tongue There is a tongue Amen. Amen. And also, even the Bible tells us, the Word of God tells us that we need to submit no, everything according samtang under pata dari sa kalibutan. No, kailangan ta nga musunod sa balaod sa tong government. But, dili ka na mao igsuon. Eh, samtang bago ka sa ginoo, na kay new relationship, but also, definitely, na kay new citizenship. You will now realize na dili lang ka dili ataman sa pangkalibutan. Dili lang ka taman dili sa kalibutan. Why? Because you are a citizen of the kingdom of God. Amen? As long as we are on this earth, we possess that dual citizenship. Hello? See that dual? Isa na yung mga self na dual. Dual sim. Sim 1 and sim 2. We have dual citizenship. Mo na ato ang 
Mo nang challenging sa ato ang part as a Christian. Tama? We still and we need to to uh, to obey the commands sa tong government but at the same time more than anything else na amagit tay first the citizenship. Na amagit tay pinakauna nga citizenship og mao na sa kingdom sa Ginoo. So evaluate sometimes we need to evaluate atong kasing-kasing no as a Kristohanon because sometimes nakakalimutan na natin that we are citizen of his kingdom because we are ruling and we are uh, uh, affirming we are confirming to this ruler of this world Hello No usay malimtan na nato mas ipalimtan na nato ang nagbuhat sa kalibus sa kalibutan ang tag-iya sa kalibutan kaysa sa pangkinabuhi diri sa kalibutan Amen po ba? Hello? But this time, first thing first. Hindi mo matapad. First thing first. We are new citizenship. Of course, na new relationship. Na kay bago nga citizenship. Mas una yun dapat si Lord. Mas dapat unho na to siya. Unaho na to siya. To our nation, we are called to be a good citizen. But also, in, our, in the kingdom of God, we are also called as great citizen. Hello? Acts chapter 5 verse 29 Mo ni atong supreme Pero itag supreme pinakauna Pinakadako Our supreme loyalty is to Him To God And if someone demands We do wrong Ingon gari sa Acts 5.29 If you if you read this scripture sa Bible If nakabasa ka ani There was a time when Peter And together with his apostles no, Replied yun sila We must obey God rather than human beings Para sa dito Hello? You say also in our life Kailangan ganun din po tayo We must obey God Rather than human beings Amen. Sa ating mga encounter delegates This is another encouragement and Advice for you Sabi ni Peter And together with his apostles We must obey God rather than human beings Sino man yung human beings? Yung mga taong involved sa life mo Yung citizen, yung kanina kong napuyan ka Every people that surrounds you We must obey God Rather than these things Yan yeah. ang dapat obey God As what, as what Tatay once said One said sa ako ang kinabuhi Ilha ang tag-iya sa kinabuhi Kaysa sa pag-atiman sa pang kinabuhi Sige daw, yung na po daw yung katapad anak Ilha ang tag-iya sa kinabuhi Kaysa sa pag-atiman sa pang kinabuhi Tatay one says One said Kalipdi ang kalibutan O sunda ang tag-iya sa kalibutan We must obey God Amen First thing first No? Your, your parents is just your biological mom and dad. But sino nagbigay sa kanya? Sino nagbigay sa kanila sa buhay mo? Si Lord pa rin. Lahat ng nakikita mo ngayon, everywhere you go, lahat tayo surrounded. And first thing comes from God. We must obey God. Amen. And someday, the Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 11 verse 15, the kingdom of our Lord and of His Christ, and He will reign forever and ever. Say with me, kingdom. In the kingdom, there's a king. When there's a king, there's a kingdom. Tama? Unay hari, naging harian. Unay king harian, adunay kunay hari. The kingdom of our Lord of Jesus Christ, and He will reign forever and ever. And ever. This is our new citizenship in the Lord. Third one. What we have from a new citizenship is that we have a new family. Wow. Bagong pamilya. Nalang po na yung mga, naman tayo mga disciple nung nga, Kuyo, tumangutin kayo ba? Biyana ng pamilya, kanalang tayo ba ang pamilya? Kasi yung mga yana ng mga disciple, no? Nang nabigit ba, no? But this time, you will learn, you will understand. Okay, a new family. Not only does God give us a new relationship with Himself and make us as a new citizenship of His kingdom, but also, He gives us a new family. The family of God. The family that you belong to. No? You are not just related to God. Dili na ka na sa mga point, mga ka-relate na ka sa iya ka, nag-pray na ka sa iya ka, nag-worship ka every Sunday sa iya, but you are now related also to the other believers. Amen. Ito yung good thing eh. Ito yung pinaka, ito din yung para sa akin yung and other special gift na giyakag sa ginoon sa ato. Ah. Dili lang ta ingon nga natin related ta kay Lord, but also we are now related dyan sa katabi mo. Amen. Tama? Amen. 
Everyone who truly believes in Jesus Christ is now your spiritual brother and your sister. Brother, sister, we are one. We are family in Christ. Amen? You are part of God's family. You are part of this family in Life Church. We do life together with brothers and sisters in Christ who love God. Amen? Who love God and who love you and want to help you. Tabangan ka o dili ka pasadan. Muna'y kalimdot sa ito, Aba, sa itong pagpangalagad sa Gino, because you are surrounded with good, godly people. No? Isa yun na, sa dako kayo, ipahambog yun ako sa Gino, no? I can boast the goodness, the faithfulness of God, not mine. It's because I am surrounded with godly people. Pagbata pa lang na ako, Bible study na yun. No? Kanangyaan na ba, paggawas pa lang na ako sa buang, sa tiyan, sa kong nanay, ito na nami mag-Bible study, ito na nami mag-tights and offering, hantod pag Dugay, hantod, pagkalis na po. I am surrounded with Christian community. I really involve my life sa mga butang na makapalipay sa ginoo. That's why wala ginasayang akong pagdabatan on. Tama? And here I am surrounded with godly people na mag-encourage sa imuha, mutabang sa imuha, mutulong sa imuha. Asa na ka mangita, anak? Tabangan pa ka, hangod sa pag-fulfill sa destiny ni mo in the Lord. This is really who we are in the Lord. What we have in the Lord. A new family. This one time, no, sabi ko sa warriors, the time na nag-life group me, and the time namin communication, anak ko, ayaw yun biyai ang inuhang isuon. Anak ko sa ilang di, di, di pwede nga masukwahi, di, di pwede nga di, di pwede nga makafeel ang isa na ingon ani kay tungod ka mo naglipay-lipay nga siya wak na wala nang gitagad wala nang gitsak wala nang ganit ka ningon o condolence no? this one time one of my disciple no na aming gamay nga personal ano nga ang sinay tabo na no gabi ang hilap nga Bobby Pops, no, wala d'yo gamay nga chat, wala lang may gamay nga message na condolence na matyan day ko. Huh? Ano mo tapo na? Ah. Ano ba? Sorry. Ya, yeah. ano day, yun sa day? Ah, kung sorry kay na, kay nakalimot po to kay ato po ni Salain nga ano, nag, nag, nag ano po mi dito, nag video po mi dito ah. Kailan, okay naman d'yo Pops. Ano mga disciple no, okay naman yun, pero may tagit po to. Okay, mas okay yun, ano ba? Okay naman Pops, ano siya po ah, pero... Nalain lang ko gamay kay nakabati ko og kanang kuan siya ang kasing-kasing kasad ba kay instead of condolence ang binako muna ng chat sa ko ang chat sa ko ah, kay nahitman so kuha hit no? Nalo ko maka sa life bro <laughs> di chat na pinakalit wala mo kay pakita pakita nilamig kay nal ba nga kaya nahitabot sa mga wala na wala na narealize wala na, na napalisin sa uban as one time pag mga una biyaan ng isa wala na wala na kao ng isa <laughs> no napoy uban pasagdan lang mayorad na ay manay mang libre pero wala na ay kalibre di na pun managad sa nang libre anak ko sa address one time the past the old the old dating warriors pero ngayon ibahin mo na sila nagbago na sila <laughs> Kaya ngayon, anak ko, namika, ayaw ka na, galing mag-isi, Diyod ko, makita ako sa nagtinabangay sila, nag-amutay sila, o kanil pong encounter niya. Kasi sa amin, it's all about, walang iwanan. Hindi mo tapo lang, iwanan. Yes, my discipline. Sometimes it takes the pain, the hurt, masakil ka, malain ka, wakang gidaganit, sister, only brother. Kita po mismo, para dinig, makabati ang isa, anak, magpayuwati po dahi ka sa itong bukma. Amen. Amen. Kung di ka gusto, kung di ka gusto or nai mabati isang na nasakitan, kita po dahil, di po dahil magpasakit. Hello? No? In this one time nga, mahatag na itong tanahin sa iyang, mutsus git siya sa iyang way, then we believe and at least ba naman, we are contented and we are also fulfilled by our job as a brother and sister to them. Ilan ko dapat walang iwanan sa umaangat na simbahan. A family you go to is a family you belong to. You belong to this family. That's why we have this triple E. What's the triple E? Edify, encourage, and enlighten. Enlighten somebody. Enlighten the person next to you. Encourage him. Encourage her. Enlighten and edify her. Amen? Amen. And as a life church also, we have SSS. Know that SSS? Kasi hindi sa SSS? Pero sa Life Church, iibahin natin. SSS is to stand, to support, and to solve. 
Amen. We need to stand for one. Together we stand. Together we fall. Together we climb to the top of the world. Amen. To stand in one. To support in one. I know, I'm so blessed with uh, what happened for three days encounter. Everyone really support. Tama? Yung mga Esther, yung mga tatay, yung tunay mga shortage, gamay sa finances. No, ah, wala yung pinapangayok na love gift. May pa yung mangyakon, sinay tulog ka sukot na junk foods. Happy na sila. Because we support together. Amen? Seeing the encounter delegates na grabe ilang, ilang natulungan, ilang na-learn, it gives us satisfaction ba? Okay ra kahago. Kaya na mapulaw. Even sa mga guides, palakpakan na to ang mga volunteers. Even to Pastor Lawrence, Pastor JB, together with the friends of Paul and Samot sa Davao City. Salamat sa support and to stand. no. And also, as a Christian, as a family in the Lord, dilit ang puta the stand of support. Dilit ang puta the gather of mga problems. We are also solving the problem. Amen? Kasi yung problem, problem na yan. Don't problem the problem. So that the problem will not problem us. Amen? Ay, problema ha. Kita po ito sa isa itong mga life group, sa itong discipleship, sa inyo ha, karoon, sa ministry ninyo, ayaw mo si gather o mga problema? Muna, sometimes, i-correct na mo ba kayo sa GC? Every time I, I, turn out, i-check na ko ang GC, baka mo na yung problema? Dili ka ad to, dili ka ang life group, nagubahan ko mo to, nawal ka gasolina, way kwarta, puro mo na yung problema. So, what's the solution? Amen? Don't gather problem, kahit the moment ka nag-gather o problem, mas the more ka magubatan. Mas the more ka maguguluhan. No? You have also a life, a heart na to solve the problem. How to solve the problem is to always think first about Jesus, what you have to do in your life. Amen? SSS, stand, support, and solve. Meron din tayong triple L. Are you ready for this? Triple L is to love, lead, and liberate. We are here to love. Ina matapat, I love you. We are to, to even even love to, to the unbeliever. Love the unbeliever. Love the everyone, every around, every family. Love. We are here to lead and also to raise up leaders. This year po, no, uh, next, and, next Wednesday, after po sa, uh, next Thursday, after sa, uh, sa water baptism, next, next Wednesday, is uh, yung, uh, another leader's, gathering namin because we are hitting right now we we will have a community service no because this is the goal of the church this 2022 no sa mga wala na wala na join sa meeting that this is our goal as the church we are now uh, raising leaders no and now uh, before naga raise uh, naga target me of mga young people but this time we gonna target no families inside of the home inside of the house Amen. Excited ba anak? No, so mark your calendar. Next, next Wednesday po, we will have again a leaders training here. No, at the same time, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And atong i-divide itong mga grupo. O tanawa na ito kung na, nakalista na ba mo sa atong mga prospect na family o mga balay na atong at tuon. Thanks to uh, Sister Melka also to give this kind of a suggestion during the meeting because I really uh, can honor that suggestion kaya nako bitaw no na try na nato eh nga sa mga young people dili magidda ka dali dali gyud kay ano man still we have this authority gikan sa tong ginikanan tama ba why not ang ginikanan day ang mama o papa day atong share sa gospel amen amen to love to lead and to liberate amen nabutay triple m as a family in church in life a new life, a new family. From love, lead, liberate is also MMM. Manimba ta nga kauban ta. Mga lagad ta nga kauban ta. O mga lag ta nga kauban ta. Amen. Ina yung katapad, kauban yung lagi ta. Amen. Kauban ta, biskang ipang uban na ta. Uban lagi hapon ta. Amen. Manimba, mga lagad, mga lag. Ayok sugot na ikaw lang mo simba. Biraha si mama, biraha si papa. Kung pwede ikaw'y muligo kay Papa. No? no, para manimba ta kay we have new family in church in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Kapila lang tanga number. Number four. A new family. Palapakan na to si Lord. Palapakin mo katapan. A new family. Salamatan na to na sa ginoon. Aside, no, more than sa tanan, naagit tayo family yun na kanaganan na to. Naagit tayo family na digit na talitlan. O ikaw na sa ginoon. 
Nakataas na ba yung katabi mo? Amen. Amen. Next is, we have also a new purpose. We have a new purpose. Some people are very focused using all their energies, their goals, and the others also drift through life with little purpose or direction sa kinabuhi. Living for the moment, kanang-kanang karun lang ba? Nanginabuhi sa karun lang, thinking about where they are headed, asa tapadulong. Most people prob probably live somewhere in between. Ang uban po, naragod ani. No? Ang uban po, what yung direction, what yung purpose. Wakabalo, asa pa doon ang kinabuhi. But they all have this common, one common in life. They are living only for themselves and their own happiness. No? Ang kinabuhi lang sila sa sariling kaugalingon lang. Sa sariling akalipay lang. But we as a Christian, a new life in Christ, we have a new purpose. When we come to Christ, when we commit our lives to Christ, God gives us a new purpose. Now, we want to live for Christ and not just ourselves. Manginabuhi ta, kauban ang ginoo, o bilik na, kauban sa atong sarili nga, pananawo sa kinabuhi. Amen. Timan igyo na mga iksuhon, ayaw git remember who you are and remember what you have in Christ. Dilit na ning ikaw, it is no longer I, but Christ who lives in me. Always git, ayaw lang, ayaw lang ingon na i-consider, but always giting may acknowledge si Lord in all your ways, acknowledge Him. Lord, Dili naman niya akong kinabuhi. Dili naman niya ako ang purpose. Nama kay purpose sa kuha. Kung sa may gusto niyo nga may tapos ang kinabuhi. A new purpose. And a new power. A new power. Say with power. One of the Bible most comforting truth is that when we come to Christ, sabi ang budota sa pangbuhi nga ginoy soon, God Himself, Gino Himself, Jesus Christ Himself, Come to live with us by the Holy Spirit. When you come to Christ, my soul, the Holy Spirit comes to live within you. Na ang Holy Spirit, na ang balaang spirito, ipatikan ka sa balaang spirito. God has given us a new purpose, but without a new power, kung wala po de ay gahong, we will never able to achieve every goals in life. No? Isa kaya na kay purpose, pero wala kay power. Or in other words, kaila ka, kabalo ka, kristohanon ka, mo ni dapat imong buhaton, pero wala kay kakugin na mabuhat, anak. Hello? Kabalo ka nga ng evangelism. Kabalo ka nga go and make disciples. That's the greatest commandment na gihatag sa ginoon sa ato. Ah. Kabalo ka, you have new purpose, pero wala ka, dili ka able. You are disabled. Dili ka able to do what God wants you to do. Because there's no power. Hello? Kanang galing, matulog ra ka, okay ra, we may tabo. No? Kanang, kabasa ang devotional niya. Grabe, oh, yawa sa devotional. Ay, wow! Pero after, tulog balik. Wala yung power ba? Wala yung something conviction ba? Nangamog si mga, wow! May devotional is so great ra. Hindi na po, nangato na kong tiil. Kinangalan ako ni i-share. Sa akong life group. Kinangalan ako ni i-share sa mga unbeliever. See, if walang power, the purpose will not a purpose. Magiging meaningless. We need power. O sa maning power, kami-kami how we wave? O sa maning power, di na ito kailangan pa, magpasuyo pa, anointing pa ka, magpalayhans pa ka sa tanang simbahan. Di na na kailangan. We have the Word of God. We have the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga gali ng always good, evaluate good. May Holy Spirit ba? Kasi pag may Holy Spirit, may power yan. May nagkukonvict yan. May nagpupush yan to you to go beyond sa imuang kinabuhi. Amen. Amen. Kung nagkonvict na po, ayaw po dito. Wala rin ni Lord. Iksa pa rin ka sa iyo, Lord. <laughs> Nung grabe na, i-share na siya, share siya. Ang buhay sa siya before ka mula po. Okay, masakit. Uh, wait lang, Lord. Pag maagi ang, ang red na jeep, ito na lang, Lord. Ano na ginang sa iyo? Ayaw na! Because the Holy Spirit gives us, He is alive. He is alive. Alam mo, ano lang yung nak... Hindi ba din mamatay ang Holy Spirit? No? Unang uban, baka ka, Ah, sa naman ka, Holy Spirit? Namatay na ba ka? Wa na ka din ni? Dinig mo yun na anak. Well, sometimes, kaya ka may ganyan na mga statement in life kasi yung Holy Spirit, natabunan na siya sa mga sariling desire. 
sa mga scene na to, mga sala na to. Hindi na sa alive and kicking sa, sa sulod mo. Kaya naman, wala ka ng word of God. Patay yung devotional mo. Patay yung personal encounter mo with the Lord. Tulaman sa diha. No, na, nasubo ra siya ba? Nasubo ra. Pero buhit gihapon siya. Amen? Kipan kasing kasing. Okay ra ka diha? Kung saan ang taron, gutom na o buhit na? Gipakaon na o wa? Hello? Gipakaon. Palapakan sa gipakaon. Amen? Kaya wala yung wala yung kuwan ba? Kaya wala yung pakaon, wala yung power na. Wala na gustuhan ng ngayon na But for us, we have new purpose and we have new power. The Spirit of God. Jesus promised us in Acts 1.8, You will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. See that? The moment we receive Christ and we commit our lives to Christ, there's power within us because the Holy Spirit comes in us, comes on you. Romans 8.11 But if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, Tanawa, Tama gikitong ikanta na to, Dwelling, dwells in you, He who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to you to your mortal bodies. Sa ato ang unod nun, mortal bodies through His Spirit who dwells in you. He raised us from the dead and He dwells on us. He gives us the power. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. He gives us the power. God has provided His Spirit to help us. Saan ka pa? Wala ka ng ibang hahanapin. Binigay na ni Lord lahat yung gift of the Holy Spirit. Yung Holy Spirit nandito na sa atin. No, na nag encourage siya ito. Ah. He gave us the Holy Spirit. He gave us the power to overcome. Amen. He gave us the strength to resist the temptation. He gave us wisdom to understand. And He gave us not timidity, but the power, love, and discipline. Second Timothy 17. Amen. He gave us everything because the Holy Spirit dwells from within. Kasi my Holy Spirit. Come on, palakpa ka na to si Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. I have the power. In the power. Power. Power to do beyond. That's our new life in Christ. After we have a new power, we also have a new destiny. Amen. Amen. The word conversion means change. Amen. Yung change. Hindi lang yung converted by this religion kind of denomination. But conversion means change. Radical change. You see the truth, the evidence, ang kapag-uhan good from inside and out. That's the word conversion. Means change. Pag-usab, kausaban. And the most radical change of all, of all of us, when we come to Christ, is that God gives us new destiny. My new destiny tayo in the Lord. Why? Once we are headed from hell, now we are headed from heaven. Amen. Once we are bound for eternal separation from God, now we live in Him forever. Sa mga kausapang, nawadaan tagpaglaom sa ginoo, once we had no hope of eternal life, now we do. Once we are lost, but now we're found. The Bible says in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus, our Lord. In the midst of life's problems, heartaches, sa toang kinabuhit, never forget, this life is temporary. Temporary lang yung tagari. Hindi mo tapad, temporary lang yung tagari. Life is temporary. One day, all our burdens will be cast aside and we will be with Christ forever. It's excited, Anna. And one day, the Lord will wipe up our tears and He will say to us, enter to this to this palace that I already prepared for, uh, for you. Amen. Before us is a new destiny. When we belong to Him, we have a new destiny. Amen. Lakpakan to si Lord. This is the last. When we have a new destiny, we also have a new journey in the Lord. We have a new journey. Remember, ha? Huh? The old has gone and the new has come. Behold, sabi sa verse, Behold, the new has come. Amen? Remember that when we come to Christ, when we surrender to Christ, when we commit our lives to Christ, mga Iksuan, God gives us a whole new life, a new relationship, 
a new citizenship, a new family, a new purpose, a new power, and a new destiny. And don't ever take it lightly. Because what Christ did for us on the cross is this. We have a new journey. Naatay bago nga journey. Naatay bago nga suga kunon. Naatay bago nga adoo. Naatay bago nga chapter sa ato ang kinabuhi as 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 living in Christ. Remember, na samtang napata dili sa kalibutan, wa pagyud na human ang ato ang mission. For God also gives us one final gift, a new journey, a whole new path na atong sundon until the day that He will take us to heaven. Amen. In other words, mga isoon, ang imong desisyon karon sa ginoo is not the end, but a beginning. No? O sa ito, hindi na ito na madunggan. Nagsugod pa lang ang ginoo sa imo ha? Ganong undang man ka. Hello? Always put that in your mind. You have a new journey. Walang ending pa po sa Christian life. Hello? Tama na ning one chapter a day? No. Tama na ning simba ka? No. Hindi pa po tapos lahat. Nagsugod pa lang yun ang ginawa sa ito ah. Muingon lang yun kag nahuman na ang ginawa pag nabalik na siya. Pag nibalik na siya. Lord, okay na. But come to think of it, if the Lord will meet us one day, are you fulfilled? Hello? Are you fulfilled? Fulfilled ba kasi mo ang new life? Fulfilled ba kasi mong pagkinabuhi dari as having a new life? Silence sa church. Kasi alam natin, lahat tayo may mga misconception, may mga misunderstanding tayo in our relationship, in our new relationship with Christ. Kasi akala natin at the middle of the point, pwede na kamundang. Okay na ni, fights na ni. Pero dili, tanan sa ginoo di ay is a new beginning. Amen. Tanan nga itong ginabuhat karo na human kasi encounter, new beginning again. It's not the end. Hindi katapusan. We, we, uh, you graduate, pila ganit mo mga, mga encounter, you all, almost 61, 60 plus. Pero yung nandito lang sa graduation, ilan-ilan lang. Magkano? Ilan tayo? O, saan yung disciple mo? Kasi akala natin, okay na ito. Pwede na itong sunog na. Lidari, lidari, drita. Sunog na, nasunog na. Okay na ito. Dito na naundang. Tama? Next Sunday, wala nang tagawa mo chat na water baptism. Next water baptism, okay na tabi. No. Lahat na nangyari sa atin everyday po is a new beginning. Sa Christian, lagi mong tandaan, walang ending. Sa Christian life. Amen? Walang ending. Kasi sa pagbalik sa ginoo, that's still our new beginning, a next chapter in life that we will encounter His promises in our life. Even sa mong decision in life, even sa mong planning sa kinabuhi, don't make permanent decision on temporary situation. It is a new journey in the Lord. Magsugod pa lang ka. Hindi mong kaugaling mo, nagsugod pa lang ko, mundang na ko. No. It is a new beginning. May new journey ka pa in the Lord. The beginning of your whole new life together with Him. But the good thing is this time. Say with me, this time. This time. Hindi, hindi na yung sarili mo. Hindi lang ikaw na isa. Kundi you are together with Jesus Christ. Kasama mo si Lord in your new journey in life. Sinong excited? After this, after this battle baptism, sinong excited for the next journey in life? Amen. Remember, church, take this, take this down. We are not only called to become a Christian. We are also called to be Christian. Amen. Hindi lang po ito becoming. But it's all about being a Christian. Amen. You are not called as a Christian. Ah, Kristuhanon man ni. Ah, nangalagad man ni. Ah, gasimban ni. No. We are not called to become a Christian. But we are also called to be a Christian. Amen. You are a Christian. Christ is in you. Christ is really the evidence of your Christian life. Amen. The Christian life is a new journey. One that will take us for the rest of our lives. Sabi nga ni Max Lucado, God never said that the journey would be easy. But He did say that the arrival is worthwhile. Amen. Amen.
Hindi naman talaga okay lahat. Hindi naman talaga easy yung journey natin together with the Lord. Pero sabi niya, yung arrival mo, yung destiny mo, yung new journey mo, yung arrival niyan is worthwhile. It is nothing compared to the things of this world. Inay mong katapat, new journey in the Lord. Amen. Palakpakan na ito si Lord. Come on, let's all stand in our feet. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Amen. The new creation, the old has gone and the new has come. Encounter graduates, are ready for your next chapter? Nagsisimula pa lang tayo. Yung fire natin in the Lord, kasugod pa lang at dilaab. Tama? Yung passion natin in loving God and loving others, it is just the beginning, not the ending. Amen. Remember always that the Christian journey is not just to a place of heaven. Ang Kristuhanon na journey na ito, hindi lang nang nagbulat ta para maka-add to ta sa iyong promise sa heaven. It is also a person, Jesus. Amen? Ephesians 4.13 says, Till we all come to the measure of His nature of the fullness of Christ. Ito pala yung journey natin. Hindi nila na magpahugat ta, maghulat lang yun ta, hantot sa pagbalik sa ginoo. Erase that kind of mindset. Antod ka na kita, mga laagad ta, sa pagbalik sa ginoo. Kita lang, ang buhay lang yun ta, sister, brother. No, no. Erase that kind of mindset. Because Ephesians 4.13, yung journey mo pala, di nila tanday magpaabot sa pagbalik sa ginoo. Kaya ingon sa diya, till we all come to the measure of stature of the fullness of Christ. So, ibig sabihin pala, ito rin yung part of our journey. Hindi lang po yung waiting natin in the Lord, but also becoming and being a Christian. Na samtang gahulata sa pagbalik sa ginoo, we have a new journey. This journey kaning path sa ato a, magatik sa ato a, to have Christ's likeness, to become and like Him, to His fullness. Amen. Brothers and sisters of Christ, remember this, this path, this journey in the Lord, every day po, He will make us to become more like Him. This is the new life, to become like Him. Sabi sa verse, fullness. Tingnan mo katapan, fullness. 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 Ibig sabihin, Jesus is faithful to accomplish everything what He started. Kung ano yung sinumulan ng Panginoon sa buhay mo, tatapusin niya, may completion yan, kapatid. Amen. May completion yan. Ano yung completion? Yung fullness. Fullness. Wala ka kadungog sa boss. I say fullness. Puno. Get ba? Puno. Fullness. Nothing lacking, nothing missing. The fullness of the image of Christ sa inyong kinabuhi. That's our goal. That's our new journey in the Lord. Ngayon pa na pray as every man po nga nag-pass by sa toang kinabuhi mga eksohol, magandagugayin, magandagadugayin ng mga adlaw sa toang pagpamalagad sa ginoo. There's really, really a measure of His image. Fullness sa toang kinabuhi. Amen? Dito sa atin, I encourage you, hindi na uso sa Christian ang magpauga at maghulat sa pagbalik sa ginoo. Amen. It's never waste. It's never waste the time and the life that God gives us that Jesus died on the cross for us. Remember that process. I hope and I pray that every one of us clear this up on mga mahin. Clear sa itong una-una o kasing-kasing na saan ang napaabot na sa iyong pagbalik. We have a new journey in the Lord to become like you. The old has gone and the new has come. Raise your hands today.